All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoker. And check me out on anthonysmoke.com or follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. So today uh, we're going to be looking at a data profiling tool. Uh, I found a data profiling tool called Pandora uh, made by a company called Experian. And I was basically just hunting for a tool to help me do some data profiling, right? So I've used the SQL Server data profiling uh, tool in the past, uh, or I'll write, uh, you know, SQL scripts to give me uh, uh, some some indication of data quality. But I wanted to find uh, just something I could download uh, and use. I went to the, uh, the the website, downloaded the tool. I had to get a license uh, from someone, but it was very easy to get. They I emailed them. They emailed me back and then I was up and running so just want to show you a couple of things you can do uh, in uh, uh, Pandora uh, by experience so I've got a, uh, a spreadsheet here I'm just gonna drag it in here and it says do I want to send test data to the server import area yes uh, I already have it in here so I'm gonna override uh, yes yeah, so I'm just gonna say yes and then once you do that uh, let's expand this out we're gonna go to load spreadsheet I'm gonna click our test data that we bought in I'm gonna say next I'm gonna bring it into the default schema that's fine yes overwrite uh, what I already have uh, that's great so what I've done basically is I've I've, I've loaded that file into uh, uh, Pandora and it's like an in-memory uh, load so it's I don't need to have a connection to the source file it's in memory now so let's take a look at some of the uh, data profiling things uh, that I can do uh, I'm gonna go home here and I'm gonna right click on data and you know let's take a look at um, let's take a look at the columns uh, as you can see I've got some statistics here um, that are generated automatically. So for my count, I know I have 751 rows. For this status field, you see that I have 720, uh, 31 nulls, right? Um, again, this is these statistics are automatically generated. Uh, I've got a unique count, uh, so that means I have 79 unique ages uh, in my data set. Uh, only eight statuses, gender two. You've got a unique percentage. Uh, again, just really powerful statistics uh, that you can use that are generated automatically. Uh, min length, uh, maximum length, um, and then it'll give you the uh, the associated values as well. So that's something uh, that you get for free right away just for uh, importing, right? So what if I were to click the, uh, the data triangle here and the column uh, triangles? And you can see these are all of my columns. I'm going to click on, um, let's click on gender. Um, again, my values, my two values for gender are male and female. It gives me that distribution percentage. Uh, you can see here, if I were to do phone, <clears throat> you can see I've got, uh, here are my values for phone number. And, you know, I've got some phone, this is the format that the phone number is in, uh, in parentheses. Uh, we've got 999, and the, the 9 stands for numeric. Um, you know, it, it's a numeric digit. And as you can see, if I scroll down here, I may have some different, I've got a different format. Uh, I have some that are, that, that are just uh, numeric uh, digits. What I could do here is I could go back to this column and say, show me all the formats for phone. And as you can see, there are three unique formats um, with the three leading digits in parentheses with dashes and then without uh, without either right just all digits so and it gives me that breakdown distribution again very uh, handy information uh, to have so uh, let's take a look at some uh, some outliers so if I were to select uh, columns here and I right click on age show me an outlier show me outliers so for age you can see I've got negative 934 right this person's not going to be born for a long time uh, again negative values in your age probably something that you should uh, uh, check out and uh, investigate further I can go back here I can say um, yeah whoops uh, let's go back to um, uh, right click on age <clears throat> oops sorry 
Let's, let's go right click on age. Now, show me outlier high numbers, right? 210, you know, that's, that's probably an error as well. Uh, something worth investigating. So I'm going to go back here to home. I'm going to click on uh, data. Uh, I'm going to click on the, the triangle here. And I'm going to click on the triangle for oops my, my test data uh, version 5. And then I'm going to right click on columns here. And I'm going to do a uh, column analysis, right? So as you can see, Oops, if I go to, sorry, columns, my multi-column value analysis, what this is going to do is give me a breakdown of, let's take a look at status. So it's going to give me every value uh, in status, and it's going to give me a count. So my status of 1, 585. I can see that I have an AA here. Maybe that's worth investigating because uh, the majority of my values are uh numeric so i've also have a d here that may also be worth investigating as well so you get that nice uh breakdown here uh, let's take a look at functional uh dependencies if i right click on this profile right here i can do discover dependencies and i'm going to say yes uh, for every column that's fine i'm going to keep the uh the defaults let's say analyze right now if i go to profiles uh, it's in progress right now. It found 29 functional dependencies. So what is a functional dependency? Basically, it's where one field uniquely identifies another field. You're saying, well, what does that mean? Uh, let's take a look at age, right? So for my age, um, uh, birth date and age, right? Is there a functional dependency between these two? Um, for each age, I'm sorry, for each birth date, I should only have one age, right? If you're born on a certain day, you have a certain age. There shouldn't be two ages for a birth date. So for June 16th, 1930, um, you know, 87, maybe that makes sense. But two probably doesn't make sense. So that's something that I would want to go back and revisit. And one last thing here to show you. Um, if I go home and I'm going to click on data... I'm going to click on um, uh, tables. I'm going to click on test data. And take a look at my phone numbers. Remember, I showed you this earlier. I've got different formats of phone numbers. If I right click here and I say uh, I could transform it or I could insert a column. We'll just insert a column, right? So if I insert a column and I say data cleanse and remove noise, we're going to call this uh, phone number cleanse right it's just a new column I'm gonna say save and look what happened here uh, this phone number cleanse it, it does not have uh, the parentheses it does not have the dashes uh, it's just all of the values uh, without either of those two formats so it puts it in this in this one uh, format so you can do transformations there there are a whole host of, of other things you can do um, conversions convert to alphanumeric um, convert to date there's just there's just a lot of uh, transformations that you can do here if you take a look but uh, again this is um, a Pandora by Experian, very handy for uh, doing some uh, data profiling. Check them out. Um, this has been Anthony Smoke. Take this tip, get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.